and welcome back to your NCAA 2K College Hoops franchise show. Once again, with your main host here, John, Todd, Rick, Bob, wherever you want to call me. And uh, as promised, just like I did last week, uh, we're going to have another young up-and-coming star. Um, not only that, but we're going to actually have two young up-and-coming stars. And guess what? They're brothers. Yes, they're brothers. And they both play for the Sienna Saints from Loudonville. Uh, please welcome Chad and Chase Del Rosario. Guys, welcome to the show. Guys, guys, welcome to the show. Uh, uh, guys? Oh, yeah, what? Uh, yeah, didn't we say we're here already? Caw. You know, guys, you don't seem really excited to be on a national broadcast today. Um, you you just seem a little out of focus. Uh, tell me, tell me how you guys are doing today. Got guys, what what are you what are you doing? Leaving the stupid show again. Caw, stupid show. The NCAA 2K College Hoops franchise show. Okay, got it. Yeah, Chase, uh, text mom that we're here. Yeah, got it. Guys, this is this is just highly disrespectful on the air. I mean, can you can you at least acknowledge the show a little bit here? I mean, come on, you're on national television. We don't, we care. don't care. Well, guys, you. Well, well, guys, you guys, guys, come on, come on now with that texting, man. You know, we don't have to do anything, you say. We're only here because our coach made us come. Uh, otherwise, we have much better things to do with our upper echelon lifestyle, okay? I mean, yeah, God, give it a break, Hardy, man. I mean, I'm not going to give it a break. I mean, you guys are a representation of your university, and you're the two-star athletes of such university. I mean, can't you just, like, say something to the audience? Is something captivating? Uh... Hi, I guess. Oh dear Lord! Well, well, can can you at least uh, talk about it a little bit? Uh, your guys' older brother that just retired last season, um, Nick, right? Uh, Nick Del Rosario. He uh broke the uh, single game record for the university of most points scored. Uh, you want to talk about that a little bit? Why? What is there to even talk about? This is fucking lame. Guys, I can assure both of you there's nothing lame about dropping over 70 points on the defending national champions your senior year. Yeah, whatever, man. Our dad's paid for that. Y your dad's paid for that? What, what are you talking about? We gotta tell him. Oh, our dad's paid for that, okay? They paid off the they paid off the refs, they paid off the team, man. Oh. Saying that that was a fixed record that your dad's paid off the other team? He paid off the team so he could break the record. Go oh, guys, it's over yet? That's, that is impossible. No ethical person would allow such a thing to happen. I just, I don't understand how, how that could even be a feasible thing to do. He broke the fucking record. Get the fuck over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see my post? I'm sending it. I'm sending it. I'm sending it. You got it? I don't, I don't see it. I didn't get anything. Check your Insta. Check your Insta. Who knew it, you fucking twat? Ha. Huh. Guys, I just, I really feel like I'm losing control of this interview. If I ever had control in the first place, I, all I just want to know is just a, a couple simple answers about the college basketball season. You know, things about your team, uh, things about maybe your coach, maybe your experience as freshman at the university. Uh, you, you guys just, you've been really disrespectful, and I don't think the audience appreciates that. The audience can suck my fat show. <laughs> you know, they can lick my fucking taint, fucking poons. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I agree to do this interview? So you guys have absolutely nothing to say in this interview, nothing to generate any sort of buzz about your team in this upcoming season at all. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Um, no. Yo, check out Brace's mom's tits. Oh, oh. Uh, she's a total slam pig, though. Psh, I'd fuck her. You fuck my dog, you fucking chode.
I'm okay. 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 All right. Well, guys, I mean, there is really no sense of having you generate any buzz for your team. Oh, really? We don't got to generate any buzz for our team? Huh. Thank God. That's the case. Why do we come to this stupid show anyway? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, guys, that's only because Bryce's mom isn't the only slam pig around here. God, what the fuck are you talking about, old man? God, give it a rest already. Get your stupid fucking show. Shut the fuck up. Well, I say she's not the only slam pig because the real slam pig is Destiny Del Rosario. Dude, dude what, what the what the fuck? Yeah, that's our mom, you fucking boner. What the fuck? Hold on, hold on. You're just getting something coming in now? Yes, John, and it turns out that... Brothers Chase and Chad Del Rosario, heirs to the throne of the Del Rosario Paper Mill Company, are actually not fully related. As a matter of fact, they're only half-brothers. What the fuck is this guy talking about? And here are your accurate DNA results. Yes, John, it actually turns out Destiny Del Rosario actually built the fortune off her back. And when I say off her back, I mean while she was getting barebacked by every seven-figure man in upstate New York. Dodd, these test results are accurate, Dodd. What? What? Yeah, it turns out Destiny Del Rosario was a complete piece of shit. And worst of all, she raised some bastard-ass sons. So that sons that came and stay focused during an entire interview, but yet somehow got into a major university and made it onto a Division One basketball program. Probably because they paid off the coaches because they really are fucking trash. John, back to you. Whatever, I hate our mom anyway, fucking bitch. Oh, yeah, our mom's a fucking poon. Well, that's our show today. Unfortunately, it wasn't the show that you probably wanted. And, um, you know, I was looking for some answers, but it looks like we got all the answers that we needed anyway. Uh, next week, we are going to make sure that we uh, get, you know, somebody a little more focused on the show. And I just I just can't stand this texting. Uh, just, just guys, just get get off the stage. Just get, get off the stage. Uh, Tune in next week. I'll make sure nobody's texting next time. Take care.